Welcome to my car. Today I'm gonna to answer one of your most frequently asked questions, which is how do I safely store projectiles, all the stuff that's in my car that can't fly around because it could injure someone in a crash and juggle the daily mom life, kid life stuff that's just a part of your car. Let's go. Let's start with the glove box. Now mine is relatively small, but it's still prime real estate and it is in your car too. One of the things I would highly recommend is you only store in here those items that you reach for and use often. Don't put your vehicle manual in here. How often are you gonna read it? I hope you do read it, but you don't need to read it daily. So stick it in the back cargo area somewhere safe. Here's what I have in mind. I've got a handheld vacuum that I use regularly and my kids use as well. This one's super lightweight, works easily, can vacuum out car seats, great too. You know, my fancy car has a lot of touch screens now. <laughs> I can't even believe I have this in there, but I do because all the little fingerprints, I like to get them off. So when I'm sitting in car line, just give it a once over. You gotta have the stuff you do need to reach for should you get pulled over. So I keep this little accordion file folder in here obviously my vehicle registration my insurance i keep some car seat safety stickers i have my pass to get back in case of an emergency in a hurricane the other random thing that i like to keep in here are coupons so things that when i'm out and about i'm like oh man i had a paper coupon for athleta and i never would remember to bring it but i check this before i walk into the mall I don't know, just throwing in some random random tips for you. There are also some in here that are expired. So, you know, nobody's perfect. Your center console area is also prime real estate and the area that you're gonna reach for the most. The, one of the things that I like to have, many cars now have like the newer cars like this one have built-in USB ports. But if you don't, grab a charger that you can put into the auxiliary port and a really long power cord because let's be serious, sometimes our phone is dying and our kids are losing their minds and we're gonna have to pass it back to them on a charger. So just get yourself a longer one so you can easily charge for yourself, but you can also pass back in case of emergency. I know you get it. Soft-sided cups, also a big fan of. I know there are so many cups that are on the market that are tempting to get, but in the car, having a really hard-sided cup is a major risk because imagine that thing flying around in the event of a car crash. So I really like soft-sided silicone cups like this one for drivers and if you're gonna give your kids uh, drinks in the back as well. Let's get to this part, which I'm really proud of. A couple, maybe like a year or so ago, I really took the time to organize my center console and it makes me ridiculously happy every time I open it. So I feel very, you know, I feel like I'm on my A game when I look into my center console. I can't say the rest about a lot of my life, but for this, I'm on point. So I measured the space that's in the center console and I ended up getting these two little clear caddies are a little dirty but they're very organized and let me tell you the essentials that i keep in here for me a pair of scissors it's a must i cannot tell you how many times i use this pair of scissors always snacks that don't melt i keep in the car um, this is kind of like my secret stash i have a stash for the kiddos in the back i've got a ton of pens including a sharpie also comes in handy more than more than i can tell you it's just super helpful to have some good old hand sanitizer. We always have uh, sunscreen in the car because you know, it's hot, we live in Florida. Gotta have my lip gloss. I have safety pins and I have Q-tips. So these little containers go in my center console here. I also keep these like little itty bitty notepads. So if I need to jot any notes down or my kids just need something to like draw on for a second so I can stay focused on the road. I keep, you know, feminine stuff that's necessary. For me, I keep my tripod and a ring light in here because I film for my car frequently. And then I also keep this little pill container because sometimes mama just needs an Advil on the go. 
Now let's talk about the door and the visors, what I store there. Wipes are the main thing that I keep in my door console and then anything else that I might randomly have that I'm bringing in and out of the car, I try to store here. You know, every, every mom's gotta have wipes in their car. <laughs> and get ones that are mostly water because you can also then use them to clean up any car seat messes because we have to be very careful what we clean our car seats with. So ones that are almost 100% water-based are good to have both for faces, hands, and for car seats. Up here on the visor, so typically I split these between the two. I have a rescue me tool, which is something that I think everyone should have in their car. It's a seatbelt cutter and a glass breaker. So should you get trapped in the car, you have a way to get out. It's, a, it's one of those things you have to have and you hope you never use. I have this little sunglass holder as well. So my car has a compartment for sunglasses, but I usually keep a second pair in here for when I take them inside and forget to bring them back out. So that goes here. And then, you know, my own little personal tissue pack. It's good to have a little tissue on hand. That's what I keep on the visor and in the door. I popped the kids' car seats out so I could really show you what's happening back here. Obviously, this is where the majority of the mess happens because kids are messy. And I found when I put systems in place, then they are more likely to follow them versus it just being a free for all back here and them not knowing where to put trash or where toys are stored. So I created some systems for them that over the years, they've really come to know and understand and be a part of helping to keep the car clean and organized. I also talked to them honestly about projectiles and how anything that is not contained or stored in the car can easily become a projectile in a crash. So they're a part of the solution. A trash can is a must. It's good for me up front to have. It's good for them to have in the back. I store mine right here on the center console. It's kind of hanging off the back. One thing I wanna caution you about is often I see people hanging things from the vehicle headrests. Some vehicles do not allow that at all due to the technology within their seats. So make sure that you check your vehicle manual if you do plan on hanging something from your headrest, frankly, anywhere, but especially on the driver and passenger seats. I tend to just avoid it. So trash can goes here for us. Another one of the things, oh, I should probably tell you, I give them their own little, uh, set of tissues so they don't ask me to pass mine back constantly. So I like these little round containers that easily fit back here in a cup holder. And then toys. So for toy storage, if we talk about your kiddos when they're, they're little, right? You wanna give them a set of toys that they only get to use in the car. It can be a great way to help them get in the seat when you have some of those kids that are like struggling to get in there and you may need to encourage them with a, do you want this toy or this one when you get in the seat? I'm not saying I still don't have to use that occasionally, but it definitely comes into play in the toddler years. So store toys that are soft-sided. The toys themselves need to be soft-sided. I'll link in the description below a bunch of toys that are great options for that for kids of all ages. But you also wanna think about what you're storing them in. So I really like a soft-sided caddy like this one. It's open, so it's easy access for your kids. Either mine can pass it back and forth because they're bigger now, or if you're gonna reach and hand it to them. And for some kids they can reach and get it themselves as well so i keep in mind that we've got some snacks in here always gonna give you the caveat that eating in the car is a choking risk and you may not be able to access your kids so i typically give them a snack when they get in from after school and they eat it before we start driving but some snacks are in here you know we've got some pop it toys depending on the age of your kids that can be what else you fill this basket with i like to keep the you know these little storage bags and i rotate these out i don't know every couple of weeks maybe and i would encourage you to do the same and like i said car seat toys for the car so that your kids aren't bringing things back and forth you're also sure that you always have the toys that you need in the car and they're not getting sick and tired of them i keep some stickers books, maybe a stuffed animal, you know your kid best, fill this basket with things that you know that they'll like and will help you get them in the seat more easily. The final thing that I keep back here, my kids are school aged, but even if you have the toddler stage kid, they come in the car after daycare or preschool or school time with a ton of you know what, and that stuff gets thrown everywhere. Not only is it super annoying, to have to pick it all up when you're hot and you're sweaty and you've sat in car line forever and your kids are going crazy and they're hungry and there's homework. Nah. 
it's a lot. So I like to use, uh, and it can be a projectile. That was my other point. So there can, you know, in addition to all that stuff being flung around everywhere, it can be projectile, but it's also super annoying to have to pick it all up before you're getting ready to go inside. So I like to use a collapsible uh, hamper like this and we just pop it open and I'm like, dump it in here. Literally just make it your dump zone. We, for our car, it works back here. I've had it stored in the front seat in a different car or in the cargo area. They dump their stuff, they buckle up, and then we can bring this whole entire thing inside the house so we can get in and out more easily. Let's talk about the cargo area a little bit or the trunk space, depending on the type of vehicle you have. I keep some things in this area just standard. They're always here, some of which I hope to never have to use. Others are just to have like in case of an emergency or just to be handy when I'm out and about. So one of the things that I like to do is to store things in a covered container so that they, again, are not a risk of being a projectile in a crash. So you could use something like this or even a storage bin with a tight fitting lid would be fine. So let me walk you through some of the things that I keep in here. Oh, this is one of my best hacks. So <laughs> these are little, you know what these are, these little caddies, right? That you usually use inside or you see at your kids' schools. I love these for when we are getting a meal on the go. And like I said, I'm careful about feeding my kids when the car is moving. But even if we've pulled over for a stop at a, you know, a fast food restaurant or whatever, their food goes in here. Drink holder, food holder contains the mess. So these stay in the back of my car and we pull them out when we do have those roadside food stops. I also keep good old bungee cords. You notice that I'm using these bags everywhere. I love these bags because they are super affordable. You can see through them and they have packages where they come in all different sizes. So these are all over my car and all over my house. Bungee cords. I have some of the emergency stuff that you need too, like the ability to inflate a tire. We obviously have some, a jumper cable pack, a windshield repair kit, you know, best to be prepared and a way to fix a flat tire should that happen as well, at least until I can get somewhere safe to handle it. I keep a couple of these lanterns in the car too. My kids like to play with these as much as anything. And a first aid kit is a must. Some band-aids are, there are band-aids in here, but I often am pulling this out more frequently. Paper towels, so many uses. Here's a blanket that you can use. I like this too when we're going to a park or the other day we went to a school event and ended up needing something to sit on. I had it in the car, it was ready to go. It folds up easily and it's cute. Here's another little hack for you. I shared some of the toys that we have in the front, but I also like to keep this little, this is part of my mom go bag which we'll talk about in another video. So make sure you check that one out. This is a makeup kit that goes typically in my mom go bag, but I also keep one in the car. It's if I'm out and about, let's say we're going to a restaurant. I use this when my kids were toddlers all the time. And I just needed to grab something quick and easy for them to do. Maybe we're waiting in a line, we're waiting at a restaurant, we're getting bagels, any of those things. We're at a doctor's office and I need something to entertain my children. I just fill this with various activities that they can use. We've got a water wow, canoodle game, some stencils, a puzzle, and of course, you know, markers, crayons, all that kind of stuff. So you can fill something like this up with the activities that might be helpful for you to take on the go. I like to keep this stored back here as well. The final things that I have in this, at least right now, this sometimes changes out based on what's going on or the season that we're in. Some reusable bags are back here. I hate when I go to like a fair or something and, or we did a walk-a-thon and they are getting so much stuff and they expect me to have like octopus arms. So I like to have these bags on hand where I can run to the car and be like, here, we're gonna put your stuff in this bag and even better, you're gonna carry it. That doesn't usually work, but at least I don't have to like try to hold all the things all the time. So those stay in the car. And then we have some like other snacks that stay back here as well in case they eat all of the ones that I keep up there, I gotta have an emergency stash. It's just it's mission critical. These areas back here are those things I don't access as frequently. So I've got some like car cleaning products back here. You know, I have a new car, so I'm, I'm, I'm attempting to keep it cleaner than I typically do. I will tell you I haven't used these since I got the new car, but you know, best laid plans. Uh, and in here I keep some other bag storage and also, oh, I always have one of these in the car. 
This is a wet bag in case of accident, emergency, wet swim clothes, anything, it's going in here. So that's kind of what I keep consistently in the back. These actually come in a three pack and the third one is a cooler. I like these because you can separate them and use them, you know, mix and match in the way that makes sense for your vehicle and your needs. So that's what we've got back here. I hope that you found some of the systems that I use in my car helpful, maybe gave you some ideas to keep your car safe with no projectiles. Maybe it'll even help with your sanity to keep your car clean. This is how things work for me most of the time. And I wanna make sure to say that, obviously we're filming content for you all today and my car is perfectly buttoned up. I vacuumed it before we filmed this. Lots of times this car, there's, you know, there's crumbs everywhere. There's, we have acorns dropping from the sky. There's all kinds of things that are, that are in the car. It doesn't always look this perfect, but when I do have systems in place and I set expectations for my kids about those systems, I'm far ahead of the game than if I didn't have them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to get any of these products, they're also linked in the description below.